What you're going to get in this set is five pieces. You get three of these pieces, two of these pieces. I'm going to build it here on the table and show you how it's done, but then we need to make sure that it's installed in the console because of the way the console is built. It will only allow you to do that um, in the console. So don't try and do it on the table and then force it in. It won't fit. So this is a very easy interlocking divider system. So you have this piece which is going to go front and back. This is the front here. You just take the side pieces, push them down, lock them together. Same thing. All three of these pieces are identical so it's easy to do. And then what you have is you have your last front piece and that piece will go up through the rest of them. And you're get everything lined up, start to push it down, and then you just lock it together and it's a very simple system. So I'm going to take this and put it, I'm going to install it inside of an organ, inside of a console now so that you can see how you have to, um, the order that you have to put the pieces together. Now we're going to put this Ford F-150 organizer in the console itself. So we've got our five pieces and what we're going to do first is take the long two pieces which are identical, and you're going to notice that the slots are closer to the back than they are to the front. This section here goes to the front. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these inside the console and put them in place to accept the side pieces. So you just twist them in. It's a very tight fit, so they almost stand up by themselves, which will help as we go to put the other pieces in. So those pieces are in with the slots facing up and then we're going to take the side pieces and you're going to notice there's a difference in the side pieces where there's this cut here and then several steps over here. The steps go to the passenger side on this console so it doesn't matter if you start front to back or vice versa but you're going to put these in and you're going to have to kind of bend the sides to get the divider to flex into shape and that's fine, they'll flex back to square and you'll never um, know you had to do that. But because of the angles in there, um, you just have to flex it to get it installed and that gives it a nice tight fit in the end. So same thing on this one, this goes to the passenger side, this goes to the driver's side. They're identical pieces. So you put them in, kind of get the slots to start working with each other and then push down and as you push down they'll snap back into their straight shape. Same thing again for the last one. You just put them in, flex everything a little bit until you get those dividers started. It's definitely a two-handed job but once you get them engaged they start to go together and work themselves into position. That one went in a little bit more difficult because I did it backwards. There's a, a little bit of an angle going forward here and a little bit of an angle going forward here. It would have been better if I bowed them the other direction so that I wasn't fighting the angle. But as you can see, everything's in. Everything's really stiff side to side. It doesn't move at all front to back. You just push it down. These work with all the steps in there. Um, Ford has put a rubber mat down in the bottom that has kind of a rim around it. You can leave the rubber mat in there and that'll help your um, items not slide around and keep them quiet and they won't rattle. But um, it's a tight fit and there's a lot of strange angles in there, but if you just flex the pieces a little bit, they go right together with no problem. The other benefit is that sits low enough in there where this tray that comes from the factory uh, is still able to sit on top and you can move it side to side to get uh, the items below.